Welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations and expressions, here we are going to solve two important problems from algebra. First one is from radical simplification and second is from exponential equations. So let's get started with the first one. I will begin with the first two terms of the given expression. Then I will take LCM. Okay, let's take LCM. I will write both the products both the brackets basically whole power 1 by 4 1 plus 4th root of 3 okay now I will add both in the numerator so I will write 1 plus 4th root of 3 plus 1 minus 4th root of 3 done and this term would be as it is 2 over 1 plus square root 3 now I will cancel this term 4th root of 3. So what is left 2 divided by 1 minus 4th root of 3 times 1 plus 4th root of 3. And this term would be as it is 2 over 1 plus e square root 3. Now I will write one identity from algebra that is difference of e square. We know that a minus b times a plus b it is equal to a square minus b square this is what we know okay let's apply this identity or formula here so i will write 2 over consider this is a b a b so i will write a square minus b square 1 e square is 1 minus b square so fourth root of 3 whole e square plus 2 over 1 plus square root 3. Now this term, see how it would be, 4th root of 3 whole square would be 3 power 1 by 4 whole square. Now using exponent property, we will take the product of both the powers. So 3 power 1 by 4 times 2. So it is ultimately half only in the power. That means square root 3. So I can write this term as square root 3. So what is left 2 over 1 minus square root 3 plus 2 over 1 plus square root 3. Now I will take again the LCM last time. So see what will come out. So I can write 2 times 1 plus square root 3 plus 1 minus square root 3 divided by 1 minus square root 3 times 1 plus square root 3. Whatever we will cancel, we will do it. Root 3 will be cancelled with minus root 3. Numerator will be 4. And what about denominator? a plus b, a minus b again. I will write a square minus b square. a square is 1. Minus b square is minus 3. So 4 over minus 2. So our final answer becomes minus 2. So this question mark I will replace with minus 2 or negative 2. Okay, let's take the second one. I will solve this problem. See it is exponential problem. So first I will write the most important property of this. a power b whole power c. Here I will use a power b times c if required. And I will use also a power c power b. Now I am going to demonstrate the solution of this question by three methods basically. See exponential and exponents properties I will use with substitution and without substitution. So let us consider the first method with substitution. So I will put 3x is equal to a. This is our substitution. Okay, so x will come out a by 3. Let's write here 3x I will write a and this x I will replace with a by 3. So I will write a power square root is there. So a power half and see the power x. So I will write over there a by 3 equal to 6 the right hand side. Okay, now using the property of exponent. I will take the product of both powers. 
so i can write a power half times a by 3 equal to 6 i will write a power a by 6 equal to 6 now you can see it is power 1 by 6 so i will consider 6 power both sides see what will happen after that i will write again the same property so i will take the product so a power a by 6 times 6 equal to 6 power 6 so a power a equal to 6 power 6 so conclusion is a equal to 6 once a is 6 so x will be as per our substitution x will be a by 3 that means x will be 2 so our answer is x is equal to 2 one more conclusion from this equation a power a equal to 6 power 6 as we have seen this graph many means number of times at x equal to 0 if you will find the limit this value is 1 okay and see right hand side is constant function that is 6 power 6 one function is constant another function after attaining minima it is throughout increasing so there would be only single intersection so that is why this point is 2 done now come to solution with out substitution see first part we have seen substitution now we will see how to solve without substitution i will write 3x power 1 by 2 whole power x i will use the first property first relationship of exponent so i will take the product of 3x power 1 by 2 times x equal to 6 3x power x by 2 equal to 6 now raise again both sides power 2 let's raise so again i will use the same property 3x power x that would be equal to 6 power 2 now now see what i will do i can write this is the product 3 times x whole power x and see 6 i can split 3 times 2 whole power 2 okay i can split in this manner just compare both sides you can see x is here x is here 2 is here 2 is here so i can conclude x is equal to 2 is our solution this is the second way second approach i can solve this problem using log also this is our third method of solving so i can write this problem as First, I will consider 3x power half whole power x is equal to 6. Now, I will consider ln 3x power using exponent property 3x power x by 2 that is equal to 6. Now, let's consider ln both sides. So, I will consider that power as a multiplier equal to 1 times ln 6. See, it is the property of ln, ln a power b, we will take this exponent as a coefficient, b ln a. So, that property I have used here. Now, you can see if I will compare only both sides with 1 and see ln term as with ln term. So, let me write x by 2 equation number 1, I will write here, a, equation number a equation number b and see ln 3x is equal to ln 6 so from here i can conclude x is equal to 2 simple observation and from this equation if i will put that x equal to 2 it is matching with 3x is equal to 6 so x is equal to 2 this way also we can think and then approach i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck